This is Eugene Tanrutkovich. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. I'm the laptop screen doc, and today we're going to replace a cracked screen on a Dell Inspiron N, as in Nancy, 5030 N5030 laptop computer. Now, this laptop is very black, so the camera is having difficulty focusing on it, so I apologize ahead of time, but we're going to do the best we can. Okay, to replace a screen on this laptop computer, you need to remove the plastic frame first to get to the screen assembly, and then you take the screen out, so not too difficult. Now, for most laptop computers, the plastic frame is held in by screws, but for this particular laptop, there's no screws so you just snap the plastic frame off. Now the tools we're going to need for this job today is just a pair of metal tweezers and a small electronic screwdriver with a smaller pH 0 bit and a larger pH 1 bit. Okay, so first let's snap the plastic frame off. So to do that, it's kind of, there we go, here's a good shot. To do that, I put my fingers on the screen side of the laptop, and then I gently lift up, lift up the plastic frame, and just go around the side and just work my way around the whole laptop. So this one, like I said, it's not too bad until we get to the bottom. And then on the bottom, A little bit more difficult. We've got to use more force to snap it off from the bottom. And then we use our tweezers to open up the hinge covers here and see if the screen comes off. It should come out. I think we're almost there. This one's. Being a bit stubborn, but finally it came out. So this is the plastic frame. A stubborn one. Not happy with the plastic frame, but that's okay. We have better things to do. And next we get to the screen. So the screen is mounted on some metal mounting brackets and the screws are on the side. For this particular laptop, it's a little bit harder to get to the screws. So what we have to do is remove these screws at the top first so we can tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit to get to the screws on the side. Okay, so we use our pH 1 bit to remove the screws, 1, and and then we can tilt the screen forward. It's not enough, so I have another trick to tilt the screen forward. There's some screws that are holding the brackets to the hinge assembly, so I don't remove those, I just loosen those up a little bit so I can tilt forward, like so. One and two, and we don't want to push this one up. I think we have enough access now. So now let's see if we can get to the screws, mounting screws for the screen assembly. So there's three screws. Let's see if we can get a good angle. One, actually two. One here and one here that we got to remove from the sides. So one. And two. Let's go on the other side. Okay, that's a good angle. One and two. Now the screen is loose. 
Now, when I remove the screws that mount the screen, I like to have the screen assembly tilted back so you see how kind of how the screen fell back a little bit, so you don't want it to fall forward because there's some connectors in the back. Now, also, we notice that the webcam cable, cable is, is attached, has some adhesive to the screen, so we gently loosen the webcam cable so we can get to the screen assembly. And we don't want to damage the webcam cable, so let's see if we have to remove the connector. I think in this case, I want to remove the connector here. Like so, and then we can tilt the whole screen assembly forward. The lighting is pretty awful right now. My apologies for that. Let's see if we can go here. Okay, so we now have the screen assembly. So then we have the cable, video cable that goes to the screen. What we do with that is there's some adhesive, we lift it up. And then there's some tape on top of the connector. So we lift up the tape. Okay, once the tape is lifted up and the adhesive is from the back is removed, we just slide the connector back and it removes. So let's take a look at this screen. Okay, this is the worst lighting I ever had. Okay, so it's a 15.6 LED screen, 15.6 inch LED screen with connector on the bottom left as of early 2011. This is the most common type of screen for laptop computers. So uh, it shouldn't be too easy to find. It shouldn't be too hard to find. So let's look at the part number for this screen. Let's see if we can get a good focus. And the part number is LTN156AT02. So if you type in Google or eBay LTN156AT02, you won't have any trouble finding this screen. Most likely you'll get a compatible screen. That's not exact same part number, but it'll work exactly the same and will work exactly the same. And that's it. So once you get your screen in, you just put it back in and reverse the procedure and you should be good to go. And now uh, once again, my name is Eugene Pan Rickrich. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com and I'm the laptop screen doc. Uh, just to remember something, one thing that you don't want to forget is to reconnect the webcam cable and the reverse procedure and also tighten these screws at the bottom when you put the screen back in. All right, uh, thank you very much and good luck.